Hello, hello everybody. I am just going live really quick to see if I am green on the Facebook post. Because for whatever reason, I am. For whatever reason, when you flip the camera with Facebook Live today, they turn you green. How exciting. So I'm not going to be able to flip my camera today. So I'm sorry, you guys. My, my kitchen will look backwards to you guys. Also, um, the ingredients names and stuff like that will look backwards. Not sure why Facebook is doing that. They just love playing games on Facebook posts. So, You're green. Hello. And how is everybody? Hello, Laura, how are you? I am just plugging in my iPad really quick so that I can charge it and then we will get started. Uh, Jasmine, very good. Yes, I have a couch in my living room or in my kitchen and a sectional over there. Um, they were supposed to be redoing my floors in my living room today, but they canceled it and it's gonna be tomorrow. So I do have some crazy items in my kitchen right now. So just bear with me, you guys. My friend Bree is also sitting there, so if you see her legs, don't be concerned. It's just a friend hanging out while I make dinner for us. All right, hello Bree, Eileen, hello Laura. I have never had these potatoes either. I'm glad I'm not the only one that has never had funeral potatoes or whatever you wanna call them. Um, the recipe that I found actually called them quarantine potatoes. Um, but I know that they are more familiarly known as um, funeral potatoes. So I did switch it back to funeral potatoes. Hello, Sam, Harmony, Brent, everybody. Let's share this Facebook video so that we can get some giveaway prizes today. Remember, 40, 80, or 120 live views. Get us Pembroke Chef. Um, giveaway items. Um, since I am a consultant now, you guys, um, is it still? Okay, it isn't still green. Thank gosh. Hello, Linda, Betty, Harmony. You guys, let's share this Facebook post. Share it on your personal page. Share it in, in a group. Share it. Um, tag people. You name it. Just don't start a watch party because then I can't talk to those people. Their view counts don't count towards our major goal. Things like that. So just try to avoid watch parties. I'm so excited to try these potatoes, you guys. Um, I love different ways to cook potatoes. Uh, I am a huge potato fan. So um, I definitely am excited for these. You guys know how I feel about cheese. You know how I feel about butter. And they're the main ingredients in these potatoes. So I am super, super excited for them. They're gonna be super quick and simple, you guys. So keep up today. We are just basically gonna be throwing a bunch of ingredients together, which is my favorite type of recipe, and putting them in the oven. So if you are going to be cooking with me you need to preheat your preheat your oven to 350 hello tina and linda and meg cornflake potatoes eileen um we could call them that but i am actually going to switch out my cornflakes today for french fried onions i saw two people recommend that and i didn't have cornflakes in the house but i do have french onions so that is what i'm going to do with mine hello stephanie and Catherine. thank you um harmony thank you for tagging Catherine in the post today i'm just going to share this to two more groups and then we will get rolling I am doing good, Paul. I'm glad you are home from camping and safe. We are good. Grayson's taking a nap and Kingston's running around the living room. The dogs are playing. Everything is good here. Yep, I've seen them a bunch of times. I finally decided to make them, Patty. Hello, Dee Dee. How are you? Chanel, hello, hello. You guys, um, Chanel just tuning in today reminded me that I am going to be hosting a... Um, a uh, Tupperware party. So you guys know I shall sell Pampered Chef, so you guys can always get your Pampered Chef stuff from me that I use in my recipes. You guys can see me use new um, Pampered Chef items and things like that. If you ever have any questions about what I'm using or about items that you don't see me using but you know exist, please shoot your questions at me. I am here to answer them. Um, but I am going to be hosting a Pamp uh uh, blah, 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 a Tupperware party. So I'm excited for that. I haven't had any new Tupperware since my grandma gifted me her old stuff a couple years ago. Hello, Mary Jo. Yes, the French fried onions sound super good. I see the boys and auntie back there trying to hide. Yep. Thank you. Hello, Amber and Carolyn. Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon. Deneen. Hello. So we are going to get started making these funeral potatoes. 
You can call them funeral potatoes, quarantine potatoes, cornflake potatoes, cheesy potatoes, whatever you want to call them. Funeral potatoes just sound super morbid. So I totally get it if you don't want to call them that. So we have our oven preheated to 350. We call them party potatoes. They're super delicious and nostalgic for me. Hello, Jason and Lacey. How are you? All right, so we are gonna get started on this recipe. You guys ready? I use my potato chip crumbs, works great. We're only two, so chips get stale. I freeze the chips and use when needed. Oh, that's awesome, Carolyn. I do have potato chips too. I wonder if I should do half potato chips, half French fried onions. I don't know, Eileen. Um, Chanel, do you know the answer to that question? Is Tupperware BPA free? Hello, Lacey Dalen, how are you? Okay, so our oven is preheated to 350. Now in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna combine our melted butter, sour cream, cream of chicken, salt, and onion powder. So let's do a third of a cup of melted, third of a cup of melted butter. The recipe does say um, to use unsalted butter, kind of um, the same concept that I always say, you guys, is you can always put more salt in, but you can't take it out. So that is their recommendation. Hello, Courtney. How are you, Patricia? Hello. So we need a third of a cup of butter melted. So I'm just going to throw this in my measuring cup, and I'm going to melt it. You guys, 20 seconds should do it. Shouldn't need any more than that. 20 to 30 seconds is all. Um, any more than that, and it will start to bubble, and you don't want that. Thank you, Chanel. So we will have an answer if it's BPA-free yet. Shortly, you guys, it's a good question. Please fire away all your questions at me about Pamper Chef, about Tupperware. We will try and get you the answers that you need. All right. There we go. We're melting our butter. Ta-da. Perfectly melted, you guys. That was 25 seconds. It's not bubbling. Didn't boil over. Perfect. Okay, so the answer to the question, Tupperware is BPA-free, you guys. BPA-free. So I'll be hosting a Tupperware party tomorrow. I have the link now, so it might even open tonight. So um, I will post it in the comment section of this if you guys want to be involved in the Tupperware party. All right, so we have our third of a cup of melted butter. Then we need two cups of sour cream. I am so excited. I can't wait to get my um, Measure All Pampered Chef measuring cup that's two cups i only have my one cup one right now so i am going to use my other brand name but they are the same concept you guys so i will show you how they work they are awesome so measure all measuring cup through pampered chef um you use it for peanut butter sour cream mayonnaise um anything that's syrupy and thick hershey's chocolate um anything that is a pain in the butt to measure the measure all takes out all the pain and headache from it. You just scoop it into your measuring cup and then it has a little device in the middle of it that you push upwards and it pushes all of your ingredients out of the measuring cup, allowing you to scrape off the sides evenly and cleanly. Hello, Eileen, how are you and the baby doing? Brent, yes you do, Rosemary, hello. Yes, yes, honey is another really good one. Um, Caro syrup, things like that are awesome for this measuring cup. You just push it like this, the bottom part just pushes up. You just take your spatula or your knife, whatever you're using, you scrape off the top of, it, top of it, and there you are. The sides are completely clean, and you didn't leave any ingredients behind. Super handy, you guys. So we have our sour cream, our butter. Now we need our cream of chicken soup, just a can of cream of ch chicken soup. Yay, she's sleeping again, Eileen. I am happy for that. She had her shots today, so she needs to sleep off that awful, awful time that she had at the doctor's office today. It's never fun when our kiddos get shots. I'm just over here looking for a smaller rubber spatula. Pamper Chef has a really, really nice little spatula for getting all of your soups and stuff out of the container, your peanut butter and stuff like that. So there we go, a can of cream of chicken soup. 
Hello, Lacey. I'm so excited for all of your stuff too. Lacey just completed an order with Tamper Chef. She got over $200 worth of free items. She got three half off items and I think 25 to 30% off her entire order. She did awesome. She rocked it. Tina Albright is saying hello, Brianne. And Lacey sees you just chilling in the <laughs> background. All right, so we have our butter, our sour cream, cream of chicken soup. We need our salt and our onion powder. We need a teaspoon of each of these. What I love about these measuring spoons you guys they're so little and narrow they fit right into my McCormick seasoning so there's no um, trying to sprinkle it into the measuring spoon there's no fighting with it I love their measuring spoons they're so handy and they clip together nicely in your cupboard so I don't really like the ring that they put measuring spoons on from the store because I always just take them off the ring and then we've got you know measuring spoons scattered everywhere well with these they just clip together so since we are putting a teaspoon of salt, you guys want to use unsalted butter. Remember that, okay? I've never seen a couch facing the kitchen. I am getting my kitchen, uh, my my living room floor is redone. So all of my living room stuff is in the kitchen and in my bedroom right now so that we can redo the floors tomorrow. Just became a consultant and he's super excited. Awesome, Erin. I am so excited for you. And she is digging the couch in the living room. It's okay, Patrick. It's okay to be late as long as you show up. So we've got our salt and our garlic, no, our onion powder. So butter, sour cream, cream of chicken soup, salt, onion powder. And we just want to mix it up, you guys, until it's nice and incorporated. And then we are going to stir in our shredded cheese and our thawed diced hash brown potatoes. Thank you, Mom. What do you need, baby? Auntie help you. What's up? Here, Auntie help you. What do you need? And this spatula, you guys, is awesome. It's a scoop and mix spatula, so it has a little bevel to it that's super nice for cleaning off the edges of your bowl and mixing stuff around. Yes, T, front row in the show for her. Hello, Brittany, how are you? All right, so now we need two cups. It says um, cheddar cheese, but I am gonna be using Colby. Colby Jack cheese today, because that's what I have here at the house. Um, two cups of shredded cheese. Remember, there is a difference, you guys, between a solid measuring cup and a liquid measuring cup. They do measure differently. The um, volume of a solid to a liquid when it comes to measuring is different. So there is a difference between those two methods. I love their spatulas too, you guys. Thank you, Eileen. I do love this bowl. Um, all of my bowls with this um, non-slip grip on the bottom of it. But I'm hoping I find some more awesome bowls when it comes to my Tupperware party. Um, I need a lot of Tupperware. I send food with people all the time. And then I lose all my Tupperware. So I need some stuff that I care about and won't give away. Awesome, you guys. All right. We've got our cheese mixed in here, and then we need to add in our thawed diced hash browns. So this is what I picked out. Sorry it's backwards today, you guys. When I flip my camera, it turns green. Um, I am making funeral potatoes, cheesy potatoes, um, quarantine potatoes, really good potatoes, whatever you want to call them. So I'm using the diced hash browns. You want the cubed kind, you guys, not the shreds. Um, you do want them thawed, so I took them out at about 11 this morning to thaw on the counter at room temping, temp temperature. Yes, thank you, Terrell. I am here and I am cooking today. So it looks like I've got, we only want 24 ounces and this is a 32 ounce bag. So I think this is perfect. That little chunk didn't thaw, but I think I'm just gonna stick it in back in the bag because I don't need all 32 ounces of my potatoes. Yeah, Lacey, they do. Um, they're kind of similar to the O'Brien breakfast potatoes. They're cubed like that. You guys can also add onions, green peppers, anything you want to into these potatoes. Everyone that commented on my recipe yesterday said that they're super personalizable. You can add bacon, peppers, onions, you name it to these if you want another little kick of flavor. Hello, Adam, how are you? Star Wars themed dinner tonight, so I have to get back to helping with the kids. Catch you later, T. Um, it is May 4th, um, which is May the 4th be with you, which is a Star Wars themed day. Hello, Dad, how are you? All right, so now we are gonna take our nine by 13 
pan. I love this Pampered Chef pan. I have two of them. So I did pick my newer one and I'm just gonna spray non-stick cooking spray on the inner sections of this pan. And then we are going to put this mixture into our pan. Hello, hello, Heather, you guys, let's get eight more live views so we can do two Pampered Chef giveaways today. It would be so awesome. So let's get those live views up, you guys. Share, let them know that we are gonna be doing a giveaway. Cardi, you gotta stop the squeaking, babe. We got a little puppy here playing and she is just loving her squeaky toy today. All right, so we just scoop these in here, kind of even them out so that they're laying, breathe, so that they're laying in a flat, uh-oh, we got another chunk of frozen. So I'm just gonna kind of chop them up with my spatula, break them apart, get them nice and mixed in. And then we just wanna lay them flat, nice and even in the pan. Yes, kitties and dogs in the background, you guys. It's a madhouse here, as always. Tons of kids, tons of dogs, tons of cats, tons of noise, tons of fun, tons of food. You name it, we've got it. Yes, 81, you guys. Awesome, we are doing two live videos today. Thank you for sharing two live video giveaways. So awesome, you guys. We are making cheesy funeral potatoes today. Quarantine potatoes, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, all right, so in a medium mixing bowl, we are going to add in our um, half a cup, which is one stick of unsalted melted butter. So I'm actually going to stick my butter in my mixing bowl. This is the large batter mixing bowl from Pampered Chef, and I love it because of the pour, pop, the pour spout in it. So I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for another 25 seconds, melt up that butter. And while I'm doing that, I am going to add my French fried onions into my manual food processor from Pampered Chef. Super awesome, you guys, super sharp blades inside that just pop in there. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle my French onions into it. And I'm just gonna pop the top on and just down on this little handle. And there it goes, just chopping it up for us. So easy. <laughs> Doug, I am redoing my living room floors and so my living room, all my living room stuff is all spread out through the rest of my house so that we can redo our living room floors. It seems crazy. My friend Bree is enjoying it, but it doesn't normally look like this, I promise. Thank you guys all for tuning in. We're gonna be doing two Camper Chefs um, cooking and kitchen related items giveaways at the end of this show when we pop our cheesy potatoes into the oven. All right, so I've chopped up my french fried onions, you guys, super easy, little effort. If you suffer from arthritis or anything like that, this is a super easy device. Not a lot of pressure or labor goes into it. You just pop this lid on and push this down, super easy. You can even have your kids do it, you guys super easy. This is the manual food processor, you guys. Manual food processor from Pampered Chef. All right. Melted butter. Pour in our onions. We need about three cups of these. So I am going to do this one more time with my second container of French fried onions. You guys have also said if you don't want french fried onions, corn flakes, um, you can do um, potato chips, chopped up potato chips. Super fun, you guys. Super easy to use. Like I said, this is something even your kids can use and chop up stuff for you if they want to help and you don't want to give them a knife. Super, super easy to you guys. Camber Chef has some of the more fun items that allow your kids to help you in the kitchen with you. They have awesome batter mixers and things like that that are um, really easy for them to um, use themselves without um, you being worried about them using sharp objects and things like that. Uh, the batter mixer is fun. The um, manual whipped cream maker is super fun, you guys. It's literally them just pushing down on the top back and forth and it will make whipped cream for you. Super, super um, easy and fun. Yes, you guys, super good to have this um, manual food chopper. So we're just gonna kind of spread 
these french fried onions around into the butter until they're nice and coated and then we're going to sprinkle this onto our baking dish the um Debbie, so the recipe is always posted. If you tap on my face, woo, if you tap on my face, the um, description of the video will pop up. In the description of the video, I will always put the recipe there for you. Um, always, always. And then in the comment section of the post, I will always, always tag all of the um, cooking products that I use today in my kitchen so that you can snag yourself some as well. Yes, always posted, you guys. Always, always. I never forget to post it ahead of time or post it on the same description of when I make it. Okay, okay. I never hide the. I never hide the recipe from you guys. Never, never. Yes, you guys. All of these items are Pampered Chef stuff. Um, I do have a couple of live parties going right now. If you want to book through them, um, or if you guys want to just buy them from my page, you are welcome to do that as well. The link for my Pampered Chef is in the description of this video as well. So I'm gonna take this, and it says to spoon it over, but I'm just gonna use my hands, and I'm just gonna crumple it over the top, get it nice and spread out. Robert, we are making cheesy um, hash brown potatoes. Cheesy hash brown potatoes today. Other names for them, quarantine potatoes, um, funeral potatoes, cheesy potatoes, you name it. There's a name for these. Um, super easy, super yummy, you guys. All we've done so far is butter, sour cream, cream of chicken soup, salt, onion powder, shredded cheese, O'Brien, um, cute potatoes, you mix that all into a bowl, you spread it out into a 13 by nine baking dish, and then your topping is either chips with butter, um, French onions, um, French fried onions with butter, or corn flakes with butter, and then you just sprinkle them on the top of your potatoes, and that's it, you guys. We're just gonna throw this in the oven and bake it for 45 minutes, and then you wanna let it rest or cool for another five to 10. I'm just washing my hands off, getting all this butter off of my hands before I do anything else today. My oven is preheated to 350, so if you're gonna make these, you guys, don't forget to preheat your oven to 350, 350. I am making chicken wings to go along with my cheesy potatoes. So some yummy chicken wings. I will definitely post a picture when my meal is ready and plated on my plate, but I'm gonna be making some yummy air fried chicken wings. You cook them at 400 for 20 to 25 minutes. Some chicken wings, either raw or frozen, both of them will work. Um, I do the prepackaged um, Schwann's um, seasoned chicken wings and they are to die for in the air fryer, you guys. Pamper Chef has their own air fryer. Uh, that I can't wait to snag now that I'm a consultant. I love my air fryer. It has replaced most of my oven cooking and my microwaving, um, which is really, really awesome. So don't forget to set your timers, you guys, for 350. We're gonna do two giveaways today. We are so close to three. That would have been so awesome. So don't forget, you guys, if you are new here, to leave a reaction on the post, which means down here at the bottom, I want you to push one of those buttons and now we'll enter your name into our giveaway. I will give you guys a couple of minutes to get those reactions in there so that you guys can get entered into the giveaway today. You guys, Pampered Chef giveaways are what we're doing now that I'm a consultant, so super awesome. Also, um, if you plan on ordering Pampered Chef through me anyway and you win the giveaway, just let me know and I will um, just add a free item into your cart when you place an order. So if you plan on placing one anyway and you win, just let me know and I will just put the free item in your cart when you order through me. Joe's Potatoes, tons and tons and tons of names for these, you guys. Super awesome. Tomorrow's your birthday, Heather. Happy birthday. Sending all the love for your birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, my kid's waving, Bree's waving, dogs are climbing all the way. On your way, Robert, come eat, you guys. We have plenty of potatoes and chicken wings. Hello, Elizabeth. She's saying hello to all the puppy dogs. All right, you guys, get those reactions out there. I'm going to refresh my page one more time, and then we will do our giveaway. Bree, will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12 for us today? Two numbers. 
Four and 11. Four and 11 are going to be the number of names that we pull out till we get a winner. Four and 11. So I'm just gonna refresh my page. I'm gonna pull the names off of the post and then we will get to it. I didn't, Jasmine, I didn't move. My kitchen is backwards to you guys today because when I flip the camera, for whatever reason, Facebook wants to turn me green. So I couldn't flip my camera today. And then um, my furniture is in my kitchen because we are redoing our floors in the living room. We are changing it from carpet to hard floors. Um, so all of my furniture is spread throughout my house. So it does look pretty, um, pretty backwards. Lacey likes the numbers, four and 11. Yeah, girl. <laughs> All right, you guys, get those reactions out there. I'm about to pull the names off right now, and we will do our giveaway. Awesome, you guys, 99 reactions on the post. Perfect. I love to see all of that, and you guys using your caring emojis and reactions are always awesome, you guys. I love seeing that. You guys are using it and spreading the love through Facebook. All right, pulling the names off. We have only had one winner for the month of May that cannot win again. If you win for the month of May, you can't win again until June. Yes, Rose, I'm sure that's it. You make a big batch and you could take it to a funeral gathering. That's like those little sandwiches that people relate to funerals as well. They need to get it together. The 11th is your birthday, Diane. Happy early birthday. Woohoo, Michelle. Yes, yes, you guys, super awesome. All right, we are about to do our giveaway. I'm just sorting the names, and then we will do our giveaway, Pampered Chef giveaway, you guys. Like I said, if you win today and you want to put in an order through Pampered Chef, you can do so through my link, and then I will add your free gift into your cart before um, I close out your order. How does that sound, you guys? All right, here we go. 99 names today. Thank you guys all for hanging out with me. Awesome, awesome. Just want to make sure we don't have any duplicate names. 4 and 11. 4 and 11 are going to be our winners today. When you win, you need to send me your name, your shipping information, your email, and your phone number, and then I will be able to send you something through Pampered Chef. I do need all those details to send you a prize. Your birthday is Friday, Lacey. Awesome, you guys. Look at all these birthdays. I hope everyone has a happy, happy birthday. I hope those whose birthdays are coming up that you guys win today. Awesome, Justine. That's what I like to hear. She got her prize and she loves it and she has a perfect way to use her giveaway prize. All right, four and 11. So number one, I do remove your name once it's been pulled so that you do not get pulled twice in the same row. Number one, Mary Jo. I'm sorry, you guys, it, it will be backwards for you today because of the green problem. But number two, Harmony. Number three, Elizabeth. And number four, our first winner today, Jasmine Patchett. Jasmine Patchett, you are our first winner today. Don't forget to send me your shipping information, your email, and your phone number, and I will get something sent off to you. Number five, Tanya. Number six, Sharon. Number seven, Katie. Number eight, Danielle. Number nine, you send me a message, Robert. You send me a message. Miranda, number 10. Is that what I'm at? 11 yeah. or 10? Yeah, you're at 10 right now. 10. Number 10, Daddy O. And number 11, Carolyn Space. Carolyn Space is our second winner today. Congratulations, you guys. You just send me a direct message through my cooking page, my mom feeling hungry boys. Um, you just go over to the info section of my Facebook page, click that, and there will be a send message button right there. So you can contact me, send me your shipping information, your phone number, and your email, and I will get something sent off to you. 
Um, Debbie, to get entered into the giveaway, all you had to do was leave a reaction on this cooking post. It then creates a name for me to enter you into the giveaway. So all you have to do is come and hang out my live shows, leave a reaction on the post, and you'll get entered to, into my giveaways that I do every show, free giveaways, just for watching you guys and supporting my dream of cooking in my kitchen live for you guys and sharing recipes that you guys can share with your families. So congratulations, everyone who has won. My potatoes be ready in 40 more minutes, and then I will We'll have some chicken wings with those. I hope you guys have an awesome week, um, rest of your week. I will see you guys on Thursday. If you guys have any awesome recipes that you want me to try and do a video on, just send me the recipe. I am always all ears and love to try new recipes. Um, anything that you think my family will like. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will post my um, Tupperware details in the comment section of this along with all of the tools I use today through Pampered Chef. Bye.